assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am Kodo technical developer so in the previous video we have discussed how to add a new field in the invoice lines and uh, if you haven't watched that video please go and watch that video uh, in this video we are going to talk about how to uh, transfer or pass the data from the sales order line to the invoice lines so uh, here uh, we have already explained how to find a but a method uh, uh, behind the button so uh, we will explain it again so uh, if you uh, first of all you need to activate the debug mode uh, in order to find the method behind uh, a button so uh, you need to add a uh, question mark debug is equal to one and then uh, you can find the uh, method behind the uh, button by just uh, bringing the cursor over that button so here you can see it is an action button so it will not show you the method name but if we click here it will open up a new view uh, wizard uh, which shows a uh, three button like create and view invoice create invoice and cancel uh, button so if we uh, bring the cursor over this button it will show you that uh, when we click on this button it will call the method create invoices so we need to find uh, this method in uh, Odoo Addons. So go to Addons and search for uh, dev create invoices. Okay, create invoices. Why I am adding uh, a dev? Because dev is uh, to define a method. It is a mandatory keyword. Therefore, I want to go to the method uh, like exactly find the method. So here is the method uh, that will be called and in this case uh, this first condition will be true like uh, uh, this is um, the field uh, in this case it will be the first condition that will be met so this is the me method responsible for creating the invoice so let me check it again inside the odoo attendance okay search it like this so here we need to uh, we found out that this is the method that we needed so here in this method we you need to just understand some of the uh, uh, things uh, so first of all you need to uh, go into it step by step so uh, we need to find the method which is uh, creating the invoice lines from the sales order lines so this is to prepare the um, invoice values and this is to prepare the invoice uh, lines like to find out the lines which um, needs to be invoiced so if you go into this method you will uh, see that it only uh, append the sales order line ids uh, that needs to be invoiced but the method that is responsible for uh, for preparing the invoice lines is this one uh, so it will prepare invoice lines on the basis of these uh, invoiceable sales lines okay so uh, here is the loop so here is the method that is responsible which is being called uh, like for each uh, sale line sale order line so line means sales order line um, if you go if you check invoice lines invoiceable lines contain the sales line ids and this line will contain one sale order line okay and it is being called on this basis so this in prepare invoice line method is actually defined inside sales order line if you go here and check this sales models and sales rep PYE, so this is the method responsible for uh, uh, preparing the values of the invoice lines from the sales order and this method is defined in sales order line if you scroll up you will be uh, you will see the model so let me just copy this method uh, and we need to put this method in the sales order line in our module so here is the sales order line so here we need to add uh, this method so this method will prepare a dictionary for the sales um, that will contain all the values that are needed for the uh, so, uh, invoice lines so here we need to keep in mind something that this method will return a dictionary so we need to update this dictionary by adding the new value so here we will uh, add like raise equal to super so super call means to call the original uh, method that is defined in auto default uh, addons and uh, to get those values and then update the dictionary 
so i have already explained it in one of the previous video like i have already uh, uh, explained it in, explained it in detail so you can watch that video so here we need to use arrays.update and here we need to add the new field so what is the name of the new field in the invoice line which is test amount so we need to put that uh, field and on that side here we need to add self dot uh, what is the field name in sales line so this is the name of the field in sales line okay so this is it this is the simple thing that we need to do and restart over service okay and then you just need to click this uh, button so before that i will add something in the test amount uh, like 120 save it and then uh, let me try to create the invoice okay uh, create and view invoice so this 120 value will be passed to the invoice here you can see so this is how you can pass the uh, sales order line values to the invoice line values so uh, if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos Thank you.